What's up my bowling friends? Welcome back to the channel. Are you struggling to see the correct ball motion down lane? If so, I'm going to be going over what you should be seeing as the ball hooks down lane. And if you're interested at all in any more bowling content, you should definitely consider subscribing. Roll the intro. Yeah. Yeah. So what is ball motion? Well, it's what your ball does when it gets to the end of the oil pattern and transitions from skidding to hooking. In the bowling world, we call this process skid, hook, and roll. And it's the process that your ball should do as it gets through the front part of the lane, it should skid, gets to the middle part of the lane at the end of the oil pattern, it should hook, and then when it exits the oil pattern <clears throat> in the last 10 feet or so of the lane, it should be rolling right into the 1-3 or 1-2 pocket at a roughly 6 to 7 degree angle. Now I know that's probably a lot to take in, and that's exactly why I'm here, because the physics of bowling can get really confusing. So what I'm going to do is be showing you throughout the course of this video what that actually looks like, and then while you're seeing those visuals, I can kind of explain um, what's going on with your bowling ball. So let's take a look at what some of my balls that I use look like as they're going down the lane. There's quite a lot of differences in the balls that I just threw, as you could obviously see. That transition from skidding to hooking either took place earlier or later, or quicker or slower. And what I'm going to do in the next couple of videos is show the differences and why that happens. So this here is the Storm Lock Big Asymmetrical Ball that's sent at about 500. And this is the Storm Matchup Symmetrical Ball sent at about to 2000. Now this is a, kind of a good, this is about when the lock hooks here. And then this is where the matchup is going to hook, about a foot or so further down lane. Here's a good comparison between the two balls. The lock being a little smoother down lane, hooking earlier. The matchup hooking later down lane, more angular. This is an IQ Tour, a Storm symmetrical ball, and an Idle Pearl uh, Roto Grip symmetrical ball with a pearl cover stock. Uh, the pearl cover stock will make the ball cleaner through the front part of the lane and hook later. This, you can see the comparison, the idle pearl on the left has already started hooking, the idle pearl has not. The idle pearl will hook more overall because it's going to be react quicker to the friction down lane, and that's why this ball goes high when they're in the same position on the lane. The IQ Tour hooks earlier, idle pearl hooks later, and hooks more. Alrighty, now those are some pretty good shots to see the differences between all four of these balls right here. Now you may be wondering why each one of these balls does something different down lane. And there's two really important factors to note on why those differences happen when they rotate the ball down lane. The biggest factor, in my opinion, is going to be what's on the outside of each bowling ball, and that's called the cover stock. You can see the differences between this ball, this ball, and then these two all completely different and serve different purposes. The lock here has a very gritty sanded cover stock that absorbs oil and is almost like a snow tire when you're driving in the winter. The idle pearl here, that's kind of like a racing slick. It's very smooth, gets through the oil, doesn't chew it up, and then when it sees friction it snaps on a dime. That's why you see such a big difference on when the ball hooks when it gets through the lane. So to take a closer look at what these cover stocks are, Let's get a nice angle here at the storm lock and you can see the reflection in the ball and how gritty this thing is. It's going to bite into the oil and then be able to hook sooner because it's creating friction earlier. Okay, so now this idle, as you can see, is a lot shinier, so polished, so that makes the cover stock smoother. So it doesn't create friction as quickly 
as the lock does, but it reacts quicker when it does see the friction because it's storing more energy because it's not creating that friction earlier on the lane. Now this matchup is still a solid ball. It looks shinier, but still slightly sanded here. It doesn't make and friction like the lock does, but it will hook sooner than the idle because it is a solid cover stock that still has some surface to it. Now this IQ is a little more sanded down than that matchup, but not quite as much as the lock. And the cover stock is a less, a less aggressive blend than what the lock is. Very similar to what the matchup is, just has a little more surface to it. This ball will hook earlier and smoother than the matchup will but still store more energy than the lock will. Now cover stock is the biggest determining factor on when the ball hooks down lane. The next important factor during ball motion is what's inside each one of these bowling balls, and that's the core. That dictates how quickly these balls move when they do create friction. Is that smooth? Is it quick? Is it fast or is it snappy? Each one of these balls has a different core in it and gives it a different characteristic down lane when it does see the friction. Now these three balls right here, the idle, the matchup, and the IQ tour, all have symmetrical cores. So that means they rev up quicker and are a little snappier when they see friction. The lock has an asymmetrical core. So it shakes a little more, it isn't quite as balanced as these balls are, and it reads the lane a little sooner because of this asymmetrical core and slower, but overall has more hook because of that stronger core in it. Now all of these determining factors change depending on what's laid down on the on the Now all of these factors change depending on what's laid down on the lane, the oil. If there's a long pattern, this ball will never have a chance to release all of its energy where this ball will. If there's a lot of friction on the lane and not a lot of oil, this ball was the only ball that will go down the lane and store enough energy to hit the pins like it should, and this ball won't. And you may see more hook out of this ball on a drier pattern than this ball because it's storing in its energy and using it at the correct spot on the lane. So as you can see, there are a variety of different balls that will give you a different motion down lane. And this is why you see so many Tour Pros with so many different bowling balls, because that is one of the most important factors on tour when scoring, is your, what is your ball doing down lane. Next time you're bowling league, make sure you take an extra look and see how your ball is hooking and how it's hitting the pins because it may need to have a ball change so you can score a little bit higher. Another factor into how each of these balls changes and how you can fine tune your ball reaction is how they're laid out with the pin and the CG on each of these balls. That I'll save for another video and we can go over layouts and how they'll affect your game and the ball motion down lane. Ball motion is definitely a tricky thing to get a hang of and even harder to understand. I hope I could make this simple enough for you guys to take home and use on your local leagues. If you have any questions, please hit subscribe and send a comment down there so that I can answer them for you and shed some more light on this tricky ball motion subject. Hey guys, I really appreciate you tuning into this latest video. It was really fun to make and I've had some great information for all of you guys out there. Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more bowling content from me. Hit like and comments down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in.